Greetings. This is astrologer Pam Young Hans, and here is my forecast for the week of March 20th to 26th, 2023. A triad of fateful planetary events occurs this week. On the agenda are the Aries equinox on Monday, March 20th, a potent new moon on Tuesday, March 21st, and Pluto's first steps into Aquarius on Thursday, March 23rd. With the equinox and the new moon occurring within 20 hours of each other, their energies are linked, creating an even stronger wave of influence in our lives. The word equinox comes from two Latin words, equus, meaning equal, and nox, meaning night. At an equinox, daytime and nighttime are approximately of equal length around the globe. We experience an equinox twice a year, when the sun is directly above the Earth's equator as it moves through our sky, migrating from north to south and back again. An equinox reminds us of the need for balance between activity and rest, giving and receiving, the masculine and the feminine, the dark and the light. Channel Melanie Beckler writes, With each equinox, a new wave of balance, light, and an opportunity to transcend illusion and step into more of our authentic truth and soul light emerges, there is an opening, an energy gate. Crystalline energies that have lain dormant are activated. This is part of restoring the divine blueprint of your world. The March equinox occurs at the moment that the sun enters Aries. This year, the sun enters the sign of the ram at 2.24 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Monday, March 20th. The new moon occurs at 10.22 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Tuesday, March 21st, when the sun and moon align at 0 degrees 49 minutes of Aries. This powerful first degree of the zodiac is called the Aries point. When it is activated, events that have a strong impact on society and influence the global population often occur. A new moon in Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, is usually the time to plant seeds, to take risks, and to act with courage and confidence. These qualities may be abundant as we begin the new lunar cycle on Tuesday, but this lunation includes several complicating factors. The new moon being conjunct Mercury is likely to correspond with a major news cycle, with information coming from many directions and very quickly. It is also square assertive Mars in Gemini, which can manifest as verbal confrontations and angry diatribe. People may speak impulsively and act brashly at the time of this lunation and throughout the four-week lunar cycle that begins on Tuesday. The new moon is also semi-square rebellious Uranus, indicating surprising unexpected events that tend to disrupt the status quo. And yet, with the sun and moon in an out-of-sign conjunction with Neptune in late Pisces, compassion and a spiritual perspective are also accessible, if we transcend the human-level reactivity and call upon the wisdom of our soul to guide us. The new moon is also sextile Pluto in the very last degree of Capricorn. This aspect is one of revelation, providing opportunities to observe and transmute society's tolerance of corruption as being acceptable. As noted in last week's journal, Pluto is entering Aquarius this week for the first time since it left the sign in 1798. Pluto makes only a very brief first foray into the sign of the water bearer this year. It will station retrograde on May 1st and return to Capricorn on June 11th. After going direct on October 10th, it will re-enter Aquarius on January 21st, 2024, but dips back again into Capricorn one more time in 2024 before settling into Aquarius for good. Pluto's transit through Aquarius may feel something like the mid-1960s when Pluto was conjunct Uranus, the planetary ruler of Aquarius. Those years were very tumultuous but resulted in some major and much-needed societal shifts. One theme we can watch for is the drive to return the power to the people. While many will take more enlightened routes to achieve this goal, some may be fanatical in their expression as they rebel against controls and trigger reactions from the powers that were. 
instead of centralized governments establishing rules that everyone must follow, one of the goals of Pluto's 20-year transit of Aquarius is for people who share similar goals and ideals to form new self-sufficient communities. These co-ops are likely to be based on the progressive Aquarian ideals, such as renewable energy and shared responsibility. Technology and scientific thought will certainly go through a major metamorphosis during this time. We are likely to see breakthroughs in physics and in our perceptions of dark matter and junk DNA. Since Pluto is a psychotherapist planet and god of the underworld, we will see significant shifts in our understanding of the human psyche and in the ways in which we approach death and dying. While in Aquarius, the sign of intuition, metaphysics, and higher consciousness, Pluto will also empower our ability to comprehend and communicate with other realms of existence, other dimensional beings. Here are this week's most important planetary aspects with my brief interpretations of each. On Monday, Venus is conjunct the North Node. Personal loyalties are strong, enabling us to bond with friends and loved ones. And on Monday, the Sun is sextile Pluto. This is an aspect of spiritual empowerment, when we may align more fully with our soul's calling. And Monday is the day that the Sun enters Aries. It will enter Aries at 2.24 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, marking the equinox and the start of a new astrological year. On Tuesday, Jupiter is semi-square Saturn. Unsettling situations result as we grapple with a conflict between our need for stability and a desire for expansion. The new moon occurs at 10.22 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The sun and moon align at the Aries point for this new moon, which may correspond with events that affect large numbers of people. And on Tuesday, the sun is semi-square Uranus. Misunderstandings and reactionary tendencies cause upheaval. On Wednesday, Pluto is trying Ceres. Through a greater understanding of underlying motivations, we are able to be tolerant and accepting, accessing true unconditional love. Thursday is the day that Pluto enters Aquarius at 5.14 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. This first transit of Pluto in Aquarius will last until June 11th. As Pluto activates the first degree of Aquarius during these weeks, those who are born within a day or two of January 19th to 20th, April 19th to 20th, July 22nd to 23rd, and October 22nd to 23rd will likely feel the effects most strongly due to their sun being in the first degree of either Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. This influence will also be felt for anyone who has a personal planet or point, ascendant or midheaven, in the first degree of a fixed sign. On Friday, Mars is square series. Irritations arise when personal needs do not coincide with family expectations. On Saturday, Mars enters Cancer. Activities at home and with family gain importance with Mars and Cancer from March 25th to May 20th of this year. People may be more intuitive during this time, as well as more sensitive or defensive. The need for security is strong, and actions are based on the mood of the moment rather than on logic. And Saturday is the day that Mars is quincunx Pluto. People may act compulsively or aggressively if they feel unable to control a situation. And on Saturday, Venus is semi-square Neptune. We may experience some disillusionment about a relationship if we have not been paying attention to red flags. Be aware of a tendency to want to rescue another. On Sunday, Mercury is conjunct Chiron. Individual rights and the fears that drive us to anger are the topics of conversation today. If your birthday is this week, your skills of communication are very important this year, as you are drawn to express your thoughts and opinions very directly. Fortunately, you will also have good access to your intuitive wisdom, which will help you know when and how to speak your mind. Even so, your words may evoke strong reactions in others who may respond defensively. 
Family members especially may be involved in this dynamic. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an insightful week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.